Hi everyone, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you a very simple lighting setup that you should never underestimate. So before anything else, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel and would want to learn more about off-camera flash photography, then this channel is for you. So you might want to consider subscribing and while you're at it, click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, if you want to learn more, I actually do one-on-one -on -one online workshops. And if you're interested, the details are in the description below. So once again, welcome to my small home studio. So for you guys who are new to the channel, this is basically a very small shooting area. This is only two meters wide and 3.5 meters deep. Now, as I discuss in my intro, I am gonna be talking about a very simple lighting setup that you should never underestimate. It's basically this, one big modifier. This is a 120 cm parabolic softbox from Nanlite. One light and that's it. All you have to do is really just put it in a very nice position as if you were shooting with beautiful window light and you get good portraits already. But of course, you also need to have a very nice backdrop. And in your home, you could have it as wallpaper or just very nice things behind. But in this case, since it's a small home studio, I like using stuff like this. This is my five foot by seven foot hand painted backdrop from Kate Backdrop. This is like the dark brown version. And one of the reasons on why I love this backdrop so much is because since it is hand painted, it gives real depth, it real, gives real texture as compared to those printed backdrops, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put my light here, very standard 45 degrees away from my subject, about right here and maybe a bit higher. And I will have my subject, who will be my wife, stand up right here. And that's it. I'm shooting now with a 50 millimeter lens and my Sony A7R Mark IV. Okay, I'll get into the details of this camera in a bit, but I think it's best that I call in my wife first so that she's actually here already while I am explaining all my settings. Okay, so babe, come on in. Hi, babe. Okay, look beautiful as usual all the time. And again, we'd like to thank our friend Mela Jimenez for virtually assisting Coco put on her makeup today. Okay, so basically I have the light here at a 45 degree angle to Coco. And I am using the Nanlite 300C. The Nanlite 300C is basically a 300 watt continuous light. But the beautiful thing about this light is that it is by color. In other words, I can actually change the color temperature of the light. So here I can make it warmer as you can see or I can put it at cooler at 6500 Kelvin, but for me, 5600 Kelvin will be perfect today. All right, so with that, I will actually set my white balance into 5600 Kelvin. Now, you are actually seeing a live view of everything that I am shooting through the help of my Atomos Ninja V. In other words, I am recording everything that my camera is actually seeing, therefore everything that you will see is straight out of the camera. Absolutely no editing was done unless stated otherwise, which I normally put at the very end of the video anyway. Okay, so before we get into the settings of the camera, there's one principle that I actually want to talk about. It's the inverse square law. In other words, the closer Coco is to the, sub, to the light source, the faster the fall off will be. In other words, if I have her somewhere here, this light that's hitting her will be about a stop stronger than the one that's hitting the background, therefore making the background darker, which is what we want to do to, make, to be able to make your subject pop, especially if you're taking portraits. Now, this is a 120 cm octabank, so it's relatively big, so it's gonna light up the entire, the entire scene. But if you'll notice now, babe, can you move here to the right? If you notice now, Coco is properly exposed the background is a bit underexposed, which is actually perfect, which is what we want to do. Now, the lens, as I said earlier, is a 50 millimeter 1.4, and I am shooting at 1.4 so that we can blur out the, the backdrop because this backdrop really stands out even more if it's blurred. It just gives that really nice depth to it. And we chose this particular color so that Coco's dress will pop from the background, so dark brown and maroon, okay? now. 
My shutter speed is 1 over 640, so we don't really have to consider about flashing speed anymore because since we are using continuous light, and my ISO is set at ISO 100 to get the best possible image. Now, my camera height, my camera height, as you can see, is more or less chest level of Coco because I am shooting a half body shot. Chest level will be perfect for zero distortion. So this is gonna be a half body shot. If I were to shoot Coco's headshot tight, I'd shift to an 85 millimeter, bring my camera height to about here. If I was shooting a full body portrait, my camera height will be about waist level. Basic, uh, basically some rule of thumbs, okay? Now, let's start shooting. Beautiful, babe. Very, very simple light setup that a lot of people underestimate because they think it's so boring. It's just one light, right, babe? But one light is really just all you need to be able to get good, fantastic portraits. There, beautiful, babe. Can you take one step to your right? There. Love it, I love it. Some more? How about facing the light? Very nice. Now, I'm also shooting on AFC mode. In other words, my camera is continuously focusing. I'm just holding on to my AF button here in the back. And as you can see, it's actually on Coco's eyes all the time. Beautiful. Okay, let's change it up, babe. One of the reasons also that I like shooting with continuous light is this. Well, let's just play around. I can actually put my, my, um, my shutter into high speed and Coco can move around and do whatever, babe, okay? Let's just do one quick thing, okay? One, two, three, go. See? Sorry, I didn't realize it's, it it's all right. It's all right. So this is one thing that you can't really do with flash. In other words, you can't do a burst mode, especially if you're shooting dance. And the power of this light gives me 1 over 640, which is more or less enough to freeze motion, but not too fast. So that type of movement would be easy, okay? On the count. One, two, yeah. One, two, three, go. There we go. So just playing around just to give you guys a demo of why there are times I actually like using continuous light. But for this case, it's really, it's really not meant because we're really doing, we're really doing um, portraits that, uh, that are very static. But in case that I wanted to shoot Coco dancing, then I might even use a 500 watt version of this one, okay? And I use a slow card, that's why it's taking forever to save. <laughs> All right, okay, babe, some more? Oh, another No, 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 no. Okay. Let's post already. Very nice. I like that. I just love how your dress pops from the background. And I am actually leaving a bit of headroom, which normally you don't do with portrait photography. But in this particular case, I want to showcase the backdrop also. And, you know, it just works since it's a half body shot too. All right. Beautiful. Very nice. How about... Leaning forward, more emotion towards the light. All right, then just look at me. Just there, that's nice. There we go. Very nice, I like that. And contrary to how I normally light, I am actually lighting a pseudo broad side because if I wanted to light the short side, my light would be somewhere here coming from here. This is a short side. If I lit it from the broad side, I'll be lighting it from here. But I am lighting this side of her face that's facing the camera, but not coming from here. So it's not really broad side, but it's not short side. It's just classic portrait lighting. All right. Okay, babe. One more. Very nice. Oh, I love that. Good, good. Love it. Very nice, very nice. And there we go. So this is what I meant about underestimating this one light. More often than not, people find it so boring using just one big light, shooting a portrait with just one big light. They'd want a hair light, a kicker light, uh, the light coming from below. Technically, you'd be using five lights, but one light gives you beautiful light. So again, I use my Nanlite Parabolic 120 softbox. Big, nice soft light. And if you notice, it's a bit deep, so it's more directional. My light was a 300C. You could use any other strobe or speed light that you want. 
But basically, the essential thing here is the size of your modifier. The bigger your modifier, the softer the light. So whatever modifier you have, the bigger it is that you have. Softer light, it's gonna give you beautiful portraits all the time. Backdrop from Kate Backdrop, it's a five foot by seven foot hand painted backdrop. And again, 50 millimeter half body shot, 85 millimeter tight, maybe a 35 millimeter for full body portrait, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And again, thank you very much, babe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please do consider subscribing to the channel and follow me on Instagram and also Coco. It's I'm at Jiggy Alejandrino. Coco is at Coco Alejandrino. And if you want to learn more and in more detail, again, in the description below, I put some details there for the one-on-one -on -one online workshops that we do. Okay, till the next video.